Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade, module seven, lesson 11. And in this lesson, students are continuing to practice everything that they've learned so far. We're solving multi-step measurement word problems, so let's get started. All right, so on this one, we've got three characters. We've got Ashley, we've got PJ, and we've got Carrie. So uh, I'm gonna start off with A, P, and K. All right, so Ashley ran a marathon and finished one hour, 40 minutes after PJ. So there's that key thing right there. And PJ had a time of two hours, 15 minutes. Carrie finished 12 minutes before Ashley. And then the question is, how long did it take for Carrie uh, to run the marathon? All right, so let's start off with, it seems like to me it's easiest to start off with PJ because PJ, uh, his time is two hours, 15 minutes done. We're pretty straightforward. So two hours, 15 minutes. All right, so two hours, 15 minutes. Right there for PJ. And then it says, but Ashley ran a marathon and her marathon uh, was slower by an hour and 40 minutes. So if this is the tape diagram for PJ, that means Ashley's tape diagram is going to be longer. So it's going to be the, ex first it's going to start exactly the same length as PJ, and, and then it gets extended by an hour and 40 minutes. So it's extended by, oops, whoa extended by an hour and 40 minutes all right now the thing is what was this then what is this portion right here of Ashley well it's the exact same thing as PJ it's two hours 15 minutes so we can draw that and so there we go two hours and 15 minutes all right so then whoa whoa i'm all over the place okay and then it says but carrie finished 12 minutes before ashley so that means we know that carrie's length her tape diagram is going to be exactly as long as ashley's minus by 12 minutes so we're going to minus by 12 minutes. So what's our process? How are we going to do this? Well, we're going to begin by adding these two lengths up here to get us Ashley's time. And then once we've got that time, we need to subtract 12 minutes and that will give us our answer of how long will it take for Carrie to run the marathon. All right, so again, we're going to add these two times up here and then subtract it from by 12 minutes. So here it's a really short one. It says Mr. Foot's deck is 12 feet 6 inches wide. Its length is twice the width plus three more inches. How long is that deck? All right, so you've got the width and you've got the length. Now the width right here is 12 feet 6 inches. So you've got 12 feet 6 inches. All right. And then its length is twice the width plus 3 more inches. So the length here is twice the width. So there's 1, 2. So there's 12 feet, six inches, and there's 12 feet, six inches. So we can label that 12 feet, six inches. And then we've got another 12 feet, six inches. 
But then it says it's 12 feet 6 inches, 6 inches. It's double 12 feet 6 inches. Plus, it's got an extra 3 inches to go. So we need to add in an extra 3 inches. Boom, right here. There is our extra 3 inches. And so, the question is saying, what is the length of the deck? So I gotta get that right. And then, so the length is this right here. So what are we gonna do to get our answer? Well, we're gonna take 12 feet 6 inches, add another 12 feet 6 inches, and then add in 3 inches, and that will give us our final answer. So here, Miss Lorenz bought 12 pounds, 8 ounces of sugar. And that seems important, so let's underline it. And this is one quarter of the sugar she will use to make sugar cookies in her bakery this week. So this, that seems important. This is one quarter of the sugar. If she uses 10 ounces of sugar for each batch of sugar cookies, how many batches of sugar cookies will she make in a week? Oh my goodness, so she bought 12 pounds, 8 ounces of sugar, and this is a quarter of the sugar she'll use to make those cookies, and if she uses 10 ounces for each batch, how many, oh my goodness, so this is a couple of different steps. Alright, so let's see, let's start off by saying she bought 12 pounds, 8 ounces of sugar, so I'm going to make a box, a tape, and have that represent 12 pounds, 8 ounces. But we know that we need four of those. One, two, three, four. So this is 12 pounds, 8 ounces. 12 pounds, 8 ounces. This is 12 pounds, 8 ounces, and this is 12 pounds, 8 ounces. All right, so there's our, we've addressed the one quarter, and so let's figure out how much she has all together. All right, so 12 pounds plus 12 pounds plus 12 pounds plus 12 pounds. Well, that's 48 pounds. So all together, that's 48 pounds. Now let's add in the ounces. 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. So 8 times 4 is 32. So that's 32 ounces. 32 ounces. But we know 16 ounces is a pound. So 16 plus 16. So all together we actually have 50 pounds of sugar. Oh my goodness. Now getting to that next part. It says, if she uses 10 ounces of sugar for each batch, how many cookies can she make? All right, so 50 pounds, but we want it in ounces. So let's scroll down a little bit and say, well, 50 pounds, and we know there's 16 ounces in each pound. So 50 pounds times 16 ounces, that gives us 800 ounces. She has 800 ounces of sugar, and it takes 10 ounces to make a batch. So our answer is 80 batches. So I kind of gave you a bonus by actually solving this problem. I wasn't going to solve it, but I wanted to see what the answer was. I wanted to know what the answer was. So there it is, 80 ounces. My goodness, that's a lot. I mean, 80, not 80 ounces, 80 batches. It's 800 ounces. 80 batches. So Beth Ann practiced the piano for, let's see, for one hour, five minutes each day for one week. She had five songs to practice and spent the same amount of time practicing each song. How long did she spend on each song? So we're going to start by understanding that one day one day is one hour, five minutes. So that's really 65 minutes. But we see that she did this for a week. So 65 times 7 
gives us 455 minutes of practice for the week. Now it says she had five songs to practice and spent the same amount of time on each song. So what are we going to do? We're going to do 455 divided by five, and that is going to give us the amount of time she spent on each song. And by the way, that's going to give us minutes. That's going to give us some number of minutes. And the last problem for this video, a concession stand has 18 gallons of punch. So that seems pretty important. So let's underline it. And it says, if there are a total of 240 students who want to purchase one cup each, well, so boy, that seems important. So 240 students who want to purchase one cup. Will there be enough punch for everyone? So the idea is you have to turn 18 gallons into cups. So good queens prefer chocolate 14816. So one gallon is 16 cups. So one 18 gallons is the same thing as 18 copies of one gallon. 18 times, well, one gallon is really 16 cups. So 18 times 16. I have no idea what that is off the top of my head, so let's go down here on scratch paper. 18 times 16 is 4,800. Bring, uh, make the zero, eight and one. So we have 288 cups. So this is equal to 288 cups. Right there. But the question is, if we have 240 students who want to purchase a cup each, is there enough? And the answer is, yes, there is. We will have a little bit of extra, 48 extra cups, because we do indeed have enough. And that wraps up kind of a fun one. There's a lot of work to it. Grade 4, Module 7, Lesson 11, Solving Multi-Step Measurement Problems.